Coming up on this Linux Gamecast, quick and dirty, how to. We're going to build the Ox Vitalis Linux client from source. It's really not as hard as it sounds. Let's go. What you need to do is head over to aux.parpg.net and go to downloading and compiling under Linux. Now you're going to have to set up your own build environment, get CMake, etc. Not too difficult if you're on an app-based system, Debian or Ubuntu. Just copy that bit. Now, we need to clone our git repo. Just open up a terminal. I'm going to do everything on my desktop, so we're just going to paste that. Now we have an aux vitalis directory. Let's go ahead and change directory into aux vitalis. Then we're going to run cmic. Now that that's done, let's copy the compile instructions. Copy and paste that into the terminal. change into the bin directory and everything's ready except for the data files. You'll see here you'll need to obtain a copy but don't use that link it goes to CNET and CNET now requires some oddball download manager. Just do a search for Ox Vitalis updated demo. File Planet should be your first link. Go ahead and download that. It's sitting on my desktop so let's extract that. I'm just going to create a directory called aux. Let's close out of that. Now, the setup's exe, so we're going to have to install it with wine. Easy enough. Wine setup.exe. Default wine directory. Just click next. Now, let's close that out and pay a visit to our wine directory, which should be your home directory dot wine. Drive C, Program Files, Joe Wood, Ox Vitalis. Easiest way to do this is just to copy everything, including the MISC directory, miscellaneous. So we're going to copy, add to our desktop, Ox Vitalis, bin directory, and paste. Now, we can execute Ox. Oh. 